Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. The White House is conducting a full review of U.S. policies in Latin America. The dispatch of more military advisors to El Salvador is being considered. There's a possibility that when Pope John Paul arrives in El Salvador next Sunday, peace will arrive, a temporary peace. Leftist guerrillas have declared a ceasefire for the papal visit. A tentative agreement has been reached in the steel negotiations. Both sides have agreed to concessions, concessions designed to help compete with foreign steelmakers. California, here it comes, is not a song, it's a weather forecast. Possibly the worst storm of a stormy winter is bearing down on California. Wild winds and heavy rain have already caused mudslides and floods and the deaths of five people. The storm did not keep the president away. He arrived there today, and tomorrow we'll have some guests over for lunch. The guests will be Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. The royal couple visited a space shuttle simulator today. They didn't get off the ground, and neither will the real thing get off the ground for a while longer. More delays were announced for the first flight of the second shuttle, the Challenger. More engine defects will push the launch toward the end of March. It was originally scheduled to fly at the end of January. In Las Vegas, all the action was not at the tables today. Unexploded bombs were found outside three hotels. Rather than gamble on their lives, hundreds of guests performed an orderly evacuation.